So I've got an emergency rush job that I got to get jump jumping on and get started. Uh, I've got a pretty important job that just came in here and uh, got some repairs that I'm going to try to attempt to fix. And the uh, customer is, is pretty important that owns this job. And that customer is me. <laughs> this is my stuff. I got some junk out here that I'm going to try to work on that uh, that has affected my comfort level in the house, should I say. You know, everybody that works 12, 16 hours a day, you know, you got to have a place to come home and rest and kick your feet up. And uh, I've got a... Uh, I've got a chair that I that I use, and the chair is taking a shit on me. <laughs> I've got to do some repair on this thing. Or I'm going to attempt to anyway. I'm going to show it to you. Now uh, the back is missing right now, and I'll show you that in a second. But this is my little lazy boy chair that I use a lot. I use it every day, and I've always I've always loved this chair. It's very comfortable, and it's got some problems that I'm going to see if I can rectify. Now, let me give you a funny little story about this chair. I've had this chair, I've had this chair for about five years now, okay? I found this chair on Craigslist for 25 bucks. I went and looked at it because I was wanting me a, uh, a Lazy Boy. And this is an actual Lazy Boy brand chair here. So I went and looked at it. They only wanted 25 bucks for it. I sat in it. Everything worked good and it was comfortable as hell. So I got it and I brought it home, but been using it ever since. Now it wasn't perfect. It's probably kind of old. Uh, I don't know how old it is, but I could tell it's been around a little while and been used. But it, it worked good for me and it was only $25. So I picked it up. So I got a couple problems with it now. I guess I've just been wearing it out. I am a big dude, so I'm a little hard on furniture. But if you look right here, here's the footrest. That thing flops around now. It doesn't stay up anymore. So this happened actually a couple months ago and I've just been getting by without that because we have an ottoman by our couch. So I just slide the ottoman over in front of my chair when I want to kick my feet up. So I was going to get to this eventually. And uh, so I had another problem come up just the other day that made me not even be able to enjoy this chair anymore. So I told you I got the backrest off and this is one of those removable backs that slide down on these brackets right here. So I was, I was laying back in it and uh, you know this is one of those chairs that the back actually uh, it, it reclines back and you don't have to have the uh, the foot extension out to uh, recline the, the back of the chair. You can just push it back. But I was laying in it nice and comfortable watching TV and all of a sudden this side of the back popped and I fell back. And I was like, what the hell? So I finally pulled it out and, and pulled this, there's the back there, and I slid it off. There's the problem, damn bracket came out. The, uh, I found the bolt, it's got a couple bolts that hold it in and uh, well, I thought I had it. I had it in my pocket, I thought. But uh, anyway, there's a bolt that goes right there, and it's missing. It actually broke. I think I got a broke bolt down in there. I'm going to see if I can... I'm going to see if I can do anything with that. I need to get my chair fixed, and i got to have a place to relax. Now, you probably... Most people are probably thinking I'm being cheap about this. And I am. <laughs> I'm a cheap guy. I don't want to go out and buy a new chair. Plus, I always like this chair. It was nice and comfortable. I, I always enjoyed coming in and laying back in that thing. I've, I've slept many nights in this old chair. So, I'm going to see if I can't fix this thing and get it working and uh, keep me from having to go buy another chair. But the uh, the footrest, I don't want to pull it out because it, it gets jammed up in there. But I'll, I'll give you another shot whenever I turn it up. But one of the one of the brackets in there actually broke apart and I believe I'm gonna have to do a little a little welding or a weld a stud in there to attach it back to it so anyway that's what I'm gonna work on today a little rust job for myself all right I'll give you an update here and see uh, show you how I'm coming along with it all right all right so I got the chair flipped up looking at the damage done and I'm gonna show you what I found 
All right, so here's the here's the footrest, and you can see there's I got it pulled out a little bit. Here's the brackets that uh, push that out whenever you flip the lever here, and you can see right here, damn stud came out of that out of this bracket right here, and it's and it's still in there. It just it worked itself out. It wallered the hole and, and pulled itself through there. In the top one here on this side don't look in too good of a shape either but that one's still in there and it's holding I think what I might be able to do with this this one's still in there and had not pulled out I might be able to just uh, weld this weld it to the bracket and keep that one from breaking out of there and I might be able to save this side here I don't know yet I'll see I'll take this stud out I haven't I haven't removed it yet but I'll take that out and I might just see about flipping it over and just welding it completely to that bracket right there. And another little feature that I like about this chair, and uh, I guess it's maybe a, you know, like a lazy boy style, is this this rack. And what that does is whenever you, whenever you extend the the footrest out, you, it'll click in, and you've got different positions on on how high how the chair leans back and it'll stay there so if you really want to get comfortable you can throw the footrest out and lean back in the chair and it'll come up like this and it'll stay there it's like sleeping in a bed almost so I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, play with this and, and see if I can get it fixed so after further observation I realized that I can't tack weld these, these suckers together there's the top one there because this is a pivot point. I didn't think about that a minute ago. But as this uh, comes out, you know, it pivots on that head of that bolt there. So what I think I'm gonna do, oh, here's the, uh, here's the stud that was in this side here. And uh, it's got a flat milled on it that fits a slot in this bracket. And this is standard. This is 5 16 24. I just, uh, just checked it with my thread pitch gauge. So I want, what I might try to do is just take me some stock and machine another one that'll just fit. It'll just have like a, a flat round disc on this back side that'll uh, fit up through this hole here. I'll dress all this, get, get the worn metal down, but just make it big enough where it'll just sit flat on the back side of this bracket here and bolt that back together. And I think that the, uh, I think these suckers were bent a little bit. I already straightened this one up to where it's pretty close to matching that one there but you can see up here on the top it's crooked and to me it looks like it's either it's bent and, and I don't know if it was made that way or if it's just bent from use but I'm gonna bend this one a little bit more too and, and straighten it up because I don't believe it's supposed to be like that so that's what I'm gonna jump on I'm gonna find me some stock and see if I can't make me one of these like this So I'm over here in the Victor lathe making the new stud that I need. And what I found, I wanted to use a piece of stress proof, but I couldn't find any one inch stress proof that I wanted. So I, I did find a piece of one inch 1045 chrome plated rod. So I'm using that to make the little stud and just getting ready to uh, cut this 24 pitch thread on the end of it right here. And this piece is, uh, it's only, it's less than a foot long. So what I decided to do, I'm gonna go ahead and make two of these and replace the other side so when I get this threaded I'm gonna flip the bar around do the same thing and uh, once I get it threaded I'll take it over to the mill put it in the super spacer mill the flats on both sides take it to the little bandsaw and cut them off so let's uh, let's do a little threading here I'm probably not gonna run as fast as I usually do because I got to come up to that shoulder let's see what that might work right there. Get everything set up on zero here. Alright, 24 is going to be CB6. Alright. I 
had to I had to reset my zero on it because it moved. I guess I was backing out too fast. The uh, the lock collar on this Victor for the dial doesn't. It works. It's got friction to it, but it doesn't have like a lock on it. All right, I gotta go a little further. There we go. And this is a lock nut, so that's why it's getting tight there. All right. One down, one to go. Flats are done. I gotta get it out and cut them off. I'm gonna use this little grizzly bandsaw that I picked up not long ago. I've been having a tweak on a little bit. The uh, the stop and the switch weren't weren't exactly in sync with each other very well, and I've been playing with it. I'm just going to make the uh, the heads of these shoulder bolts here. I'm just going to cut them off quarter inch because there's nothing there's nothing interfering with them on the inside the chair for them to rub on.
got the new studs made. I even took them over to the lathe and faced them off and chamfered the other side to make them look nice and pretty. So I think everything's lining up good. I, I straightened that out a little bit more and uh, you can move it around because the, the foot rest isn't, it's, gravity's got it pulling it down, but go ahead and stick one in there. That's it. All right, it's working. That's doing pretty good. I've got some more screws up here on the actual footrest part that I need to uh, adjust. They're, they're backed out. I didn't see that until just earlier. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and play with this side and see, see about getting that side replaced with this, this other new uh, shoulder bolt here. Alright, I got the other stud in here. You see it? I tweaked the bend up a little bit. Got it installed. It doesn't look perfect to me, but it's working. It's working and uh, tighten up some screws on the footrest here and we're about to see if this thing works. Let me set the camera right over here. Just like new. All right. Halfway there. Now I gotta get the I gotta get the backrest over here and see if I can do something with that. So got the footrest fixed. All right, I think I got it fixed. Let me show you what I did here. So on the backrest, you got this bracket that's bolted on, and there was two bolts. And apparently inside the wooden frame they had those little uh, metal studs that the bolt screwed into. Well on the inside of the, uh, the wooden frame here, <clears throat> there's like a metal backing, probably some kind of bracing system to hold it all together. I uh, couldn't get in there without, you know, it's all the, uh, the fabric is around it so I couldn't get back in there to see it. So what I did, I found a, I found a sheet metal screw. And then I was digging through, and I found some uh, some brass uh, flathead wood screws that were about the same thread size. So I used the uh, the self tapper and uh, drilled and tapped the hole through there. And then I stuck the uh, brass wood screw in there and screwed it up. I got it good and tight, and it's in there now. The reason why I couldn't use the uh, sheet metal screws because that other bracket on the back of the chair slides up through here, so the head would have interfered with that. So luckily I had some, I had a, I had a good screw there that I could use. I just came over here to my, uh, my little rotary hardware store that I got organized and I kept digging through trying to find something. And right up here where I've got some of my stuff organized, I found the screws. So that worked out. It's always nice to have a nice organized uh, hardware section. So I got it fixed and I'm getting ready to put this thing together and I'm going to see if it works. Alright, I got my chair back together. I just put it down on the ground, put the backrest in it and I'm going to give it a shot. But I feel like it's going to work for me now. Let's, uh, let's give it a shot. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a little try. Back 
backrest isn't falling back on me. And the footrest works. Closes up good. All right. Man, I'm happy now. I put my chair back inside and relax after all this hard work I've been doing. I think I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go inside and make me a drink. It's Sunday afternoon and I'm ready to relax. So, uh, we'll see you guys around until the next job. So, Adam's been very quiet and I know he's not filming because I have the camera. Oh my god. Are you serious? <laughs> what? Are you serious right now? Uh, I was just testing out my new chair. I just fixed it. I was just testing it out. <coughs> I was just checking. I had a, I had a drink and uh, I was just trying to enjoy my day off because I just fixed the chair. You have a problem. I have a problem? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was just testing it out. You just happened to walk up on me. I was just checking it out. I might have snoozed for it. <laughs> few minutes I don't know <laughs> oh my god I love you I got it fixed it looks it's working again looks like a Craigslist find it is $25 I know it's the best $25 I ever spent yep see backrest works footrest oh, works again wow and I can throw it back wowzers right. this might be my new shop chair I'm fine with that that's because you want to buy. You want me to buy a new one. I'm not buying a new one. This will work just fine. Then you'll never be in the house. All right. Well, I guess it's time to take it back inside. Now. Okay. You can leave it out here. No, it might get in the way. I might get some chips on it and burn the fabric. <laughs> I love you. Love you too.